Hi guys, welcome to Bella's Bargains. I'm Amy, and if you're joining me today, you're here for day number 18 of my 25 days of Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs. So, um, but if it's your first time here, you need to know I also do Dollar Tree hauls. I do really humongous Dollar Tree hauls and price comparisons and taste testing and all kinds of fun stuff with Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree. And I do super easy crafts and the crafts are so easy that even the non-crafter can do them. And all of your supplies come from the one and only Dollar Tree. No need to go to Hobby Lobby, Walmart or anywhere else. Just everything from the Dollar Tree. One stop shop, easy crafting. <laughs> do hashtag. Anyway, I let's move on. So today is number 18 and I did a couple of things for you, but one of the ones that I'm gonna show you is this really cool box. These were one-sided, like half a box, and I put two together that um, complemented each other and made a really cool freestanding box. I did two of those, and I'm so in love with these, not giving these away. I really, 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 really like these. And then I think I did a joy, hanging joy sign also, and was there one more? No, I think it's just those two. Anyway, so you get two crafts, but... If you stick around to the end of the video, you get bonus footage for a gift basket. I think this one is a, is this one a baby gift basket or a dog gift basket? We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, you guys. So that's it. See you back here tomorrow at Bella's Bargains. Again, my name is Amy. If you see anything you like, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. I'm really trying to grow my channel. And are you wondering what I'm wearing? See, here's the thing. I'm in COVID quarantine, so I can't go anywhere. So all my really cute Christmas stuff, I can't even wear it. And this was like, look, it's brand new. Like literally tag still on it. And I was going to wear it to a party. Can't go. So I thought, I'm just going to be in the hood today. Mm, mm -hmm. I'll be in the hood. Show you guys some crafts. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Ooh, so I think tomorrow, because it's Saturday and I can't do shopping Saturdays, I think I'm going to do slay Saturdays. We're going to slay Saturday. Come back and find out what that means. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the video. Have a great day, great life, great week. A great day, great week, great life. Either way. And God bless you all and Merry Christmas. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, this one might be a little hard to pull off, but they have these jars that um, are solid colors. This one says, can't touch this, obviously. And they have these elves that... Anyway, um, I wanted to take this elf and make him a little more substantial. So I want to put him on top of the red jar. And then I found these elf legs that I thought were really cute, way cuter than what he has on. And I have some leftover window clings that I might use on the jar and some elf ribbon. And also I forgot to grab the pom-poms, but pom-poms kind of like what's on his, his shoe here. All right, so let's see how it turns out. Maybe it'll be really cute. six by six they can stand or they can hang um, anyway they're hollow on the back and so when I saw them I was like wow that would make a really cool like substantial tile box piece sort of so this that's what I'm doing with them and I'm gonna use burlap ribbon and a couple of picks so just so you know you could do them like this and then one side would be this type of decor and one side would be this or you can do them together however you want to do them. I'm going to do them similar so I can put it on a table and it's good from either side. Um, and also I think this makes a really cute gift in the gift basket when it's all done. All right, so let's get going. <laughs> that were not from the Dollar Tree that I purchased throughout the year, one of which is a Santa outfit, a Christmas bow, um, an uh, ornament, and a picture frame. So, oops, the tree got bent. And the picture frame, if you notice, it says 2019. Because I got it after clearance, I believe, at I want to say Hobby Lobby for like a dollar. Um, same thing with this one. It was six dollars normally. I got it for ninety percent off. 
So I got it for 60 cents. So there's a few added things into this one that I did not get at the Dollar Tree, but without those, it could still be just a really impressive, um, absolutely impressive gift. So I'm gonna throw this all together and just show you what it looks like when it's all done. And there it is all put together. So I tied up the cookie um, dog treats with the ribbon, a little jute on top. The ribbon says the elves made me do it and put the little bow tie on there, so that's super cute. And then over here I took the dog bucket and took one of the toys and sort of made it the bow on there. And then the bag is just filled with all the rest of it and the scarf, dog scarf is on the top. When I, with the dog scarf, I took the tag off and I put it inside of the bag. So sometimes when I have to use an item, as part of the decoration for a basket, I'll put the tag in there so they know, you know, that it is new and what it is and so on and so forth. So there you go. I think this came out super adorable. Total cost here is about $42. Um, but any one of these would be a great gift all on its own. So um, just that's for the grand dog. <laughs> that's cute.